<laughs> How you doing? Anthony Farrell here of Create Sci-Fi. Today I want to talk to you about prop sourcing and found objects. Um, basically what I'm trying to do here all the time is uh, share with you low cost, high impact solutions for making DIY sci-fi, right? I feel the barrier to entry for a lot of people is the props and the costumes and the special effects. Now um, props, if you're doing a contemporary piece, people are going to need clothes. If the guy's uh, checking his watch, he's going to need a watch. If they're on the phone, they're going to need a phone. So you're going to ask people if they have these things or you're going to go online or to eBay and buy inexpensive versions of these things because they're just going to be seen on camera. It's not, it's not going to have to be functional, right? So same thing with sci-fi props. So one of the funnest parts for me is um, sourcing objects that are similar to what you're trying to achieve and then adjusting them with either um, embellishments or painting or mashups, which I really like. I do that a lot in the dollar store where you take um, X and mix it with Y and jam them together and you, you got something new, right? I'm going to show you sort of a, a, a basic process, my process of first finding things online and then you can, you know, go to flea markets or yard sales or, or thrift stores. I go to those a lot in my videos and I'm just going to sort of hone in and share this process with you and simplify it. So um, to get things started, I think a great example of this to sort of help you wrap your head around it is um, something I think we all know in sci-fi and that's uh, Luke Skywalker's lightsaber, right? So in the 70s, it was a lot more practical effects and actually, so the lightsaber so at its core, it's this Graflex 3 flash attachment for a camera, right? So that's that right there. And you can see where that's the body of the lightsaber. And then the uh, hand grips are actually windshield wipers, right? Now, when you look at it, you're like, oh yeah, that's windshield wipers. But you never, ever, when you were watching that movie, we're like, wow, that looks like windshield wipers. And this is just a great prop, and it's a, uh, I think it's a perfect example, right? So now you know what I'm talking about. So for example, in my short uh, Erringer that I refer to a lot, um, the making of that in these videos, I had to uh, make this canister that the character carried around that was really a hero prop. And it actually, when you finally see the film, it plays a big role in the film. So I was thinking about, in my mind, what it looked like, and as I thought about it and thought about it, I was like, you know what, it kind of looks like a, a coffee canister, um, the, the kind that you might have on your kitchen counter to keep your coffee fresh. So I did an online search, and I found uh, this canister, but it's really just this coffee canister. The handle is just uh, from the hardware store. So now you see here in the in the final film, that's very convincing. I don't think you'd think, oh, that's an upside down coffee canister. And then with paint and weathering, I'll show you here. Um, this is in another video that I did, where it's just uh, basically some weathering and paint techniques. And the key there more than anything is it doesn't take you out of it, right? That's always sort of my gauge. It's upside down coffee canister, right? The lightsaber is a uh, windshield wiper blades and a, and a flash bulb. As long as it doesn't take you out of it, as long as it doesn't make you think, it's sort of like a music score, right? It, it works best when it's just in the background and you don't think of it. Same thing with these props. Uh, if you're not thinking about it, then it's working. And that's sort of the, the test that I go by. So now you see here in a lot of my videos, I go to the dollar store. And a good example of this is this dust mop here. And I was able to just convert that into a uh, staff because it sort of had a sci-fi pattern to it. Sometimes it's on the nose. I, I found these goggles that I was able to just alter with paint and weathering and make these look like a, a sci-fi prop. And then sometimes you get lucky and you're just able to buy the object that you need. Now, um, you still want to go deeper and I have a great example of this. When I was doing the proof of concept for Galactic Galaxy, I had a queen character and then I found this Thai bridal costume. And this is just perfect. And I was able to find the entire costume and I was so thrilled that this was gonna work for me that I ended up renting it from a rental house that did Thai wedding costumes. Not a Hollywood place, it was an actual Thai uh, a wedding establishment. And I spent a lot of money, but I was so happy to find it 
then I sort of stopped there. Then when I was ready to actually create the series, I didn't have a lot of money. And when I was forced to go deeper, I realized that I kind of goofed up because I went onto eBay and I was able to find um, these pieces for around 20 or $30. So I'm not gonna tell you how much I rented for, but the next time I was able just to purchase a few of these beautiful pieces. And then this I was able to put together and it was just as effective and naturally I ended up liking this better. So sometimes you can just find the actual objects that you're looking for, right? I love those sort of objects that are um, of our time but could easily be in an imagined uh, fantasy setting, right? Well, I hope this made uh, this accessible to you. I'm always trying to show you examples of low cost, high impact, how you could just make your DIY sci-fi film or web series or even cosplay, right? It's accessible, you, you just need to sort of pull back the curtain and it's pretty straightforward, I think. Well, as always, I hope you found this video useful. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, I love to read the comments and be sure to sign up for the email newsletter. And remember, I'm just here to help make sci-fi <laughs> and keep your coffee fresh.